have to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, the unveiling of Red Pollard Way. It's an exciting event that pays tribute to a man whose story began here in Edmonton 103 years ago. The story goes that Pollard gave Seabiscuit a sugar cube and there was a horse-human connection from there on. With that, Pollard and Seabiscuit went on to create a horse racing legacy that stands today. In front of 78,000 hysterical fans, Pollard and Seabiscuit raced their last race together to win the Santa Anita Handicap. So today I'm honored to be here as we announce 79th Street, the road entering Northlands Park, which is currently used by owners, trainers, jockeys, and all those who support the horse racing industry, is being renamed Red Pollard Way. This is a combined effort between the city and Northlands, and I think the people who put this together deserve a round of applause. Actually, myself and horses have never really gotten along. I was thrown off one when I was four years old, injured fairly badly, but of course I got back on. And uh, ever since then, I've been a little bit uh, hesitant about riding, but I do get out and ride occasionally. I don't think they like me. Um, even, even when I come here to Northlands, I swear they're out to get me because I never win any races. <laughs> so.